guess what? I got a thing today. I don't like the fact that I have to like set it upside down right now for this, but I couldn't get the uh, label properly covered. But here's the box. It's uh, pretty big. Let's open it. Where's my knife? Okay, we got it open. Let's place her down. And it's all completely covered in this uh, paper wrapping. Okay. I haven't looked at it yet, but I did feel that it was like the end of the paper. Which also, this is a lot of paper. Goddamn. Thank you. Wonderful hobby life for you, Good Smile Company. Thank you for your support. This, my good friends, is another Xenoblade thing. Okay. This is the Figma Mio from Good Small Company. It comes with, obviously, Mio herself. A couple of different face plates to show different emotions. It comes with her flute comes with her chakrams, comes with her diary, and it comes with another hair. This is very exciting. Oh, I love this. I love the back of this. Let me actually fully investigate the box before I open. Oh, I love it. Figma 603 Mio. Alright, let's break her out of containment. Well, you couldn't see it very well, but there is actually a background here, and it's the uh, Mechanis Sword killing the Orion Titan, like uh, the box art of the original game. I love that a lot. Okay, we got her. I'm having trouble grabbing her. Come here, Mia. Took a little bit of struggling and a lot of decision making, but I decided to put Mio in the pose of playing her flute because that seemed like the most accurate to her character in my mind. So this seemed like the best bet. And also, this flute did not want to stay in her hands. But I got it to cooperate, eventually. Now to figure out where on the shrine she's going. I've decided to put her right next to Nia, and slightly in front of the Xenoblade 3 stuff. Obviously, it um, fits because it's the game she's from, but also, canonically, this is her mother. And I love it. I love this little Figma. And I would like to correct something before I said it would be the best, or the most accurate to her character. Th that is true to an extent. Technically, it's accurate to, like, pre-chapter 4. And then there's more stuff that happens later that I will think about reconsidering how I want her set up. But for now... She's going to be set like that, and that makes me very happy. Because she looks good there. You may have noticed last week now, because of how releases work, um, something has changed with the vlog. When the day gets introduced, generally speaking, it'll have the little text that comes up that says what day it is. I didn't like the fact that that just was a wall of text. So I enlisted the help of a friend, and this is what we came up with. Here is the premiere project of last week. And we came up with that nice new little graphic. 
And that nice new little graphic kind of was a pain. Like, if I go and open my f folder of stuff, I have six, seven versions of it because it was too choppy, it didn't have enough frames, and that was disorienting, and then it was still choppy, and then one of them was a troll because we were working on this as April Fool's Day came around, like, uh, is this the one? Yeah. So, one of them, instead of a uh, regular thing, just immediately starts playing Never Gonna Give You Up. Which, uh, outstanding. Lovely. But I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining, because it came out looking really nice at the end of it all. So it was worth, like, toiling and trouble. So... I'm happy with it and it makes the vlog looks a little bit nicer, which I was, which I, part of what I was trying to do with that is have whatever improvements happen before the, uh, the trip in May, <laughs> uh, because that was, it, it it's essentially going to be a sequel to the movie from last year, so <laughs> it's definitely going to have improvements. Having improvements is definitely going to be nice, is what I was trying to say. So we'll see how that goes. But I, I've been enjoying having it. It looks nice, and I have gotten one or two compliments on it already, so I'm not complaining. So I didn't record anything in the restaurant because everything was uh, way too loud. But we went to dinner, and we went to Olive Garden. And I have a picture of what remained of my, uh, my food towards the end. But, um, basically, we went there. They put us, because we were us plus one of Olivia's friends, uh, we went to, they, they seated us in, like, a, a back room type thing, like a corner room. Uh, and there was a speaker in there, so it was loud enough that I was like, it's not worth recording anything. But I did take a couple of pictures, uh, specifically of my food, and then Jake excitedly showing Olivia something on his phone. But the food was fine. Usually Olive Garden is decent food, but this time it was just a little subpar, if I'm being honest. So maybe not going to that one anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, but I don't really have much else today because, uh, I didn't work. That ate up a lot of my time as, along with the garage. So I'm just gonna... That's it. <laughs> you know, if I didn't have enough Xenoblade shirts before, I definitely do now. And by that I specifically mean enough shirts to wear one every day of the trip. This one features Pyra and Mithra. I love them so much. And honestly, I'm glad the Yeti has been like doing these Xenoblade shirts because it gives me more Xenoblade stuff to own. But also, I wish they wouldn't do them so close together because that adds up quick. <laughs> like, obviously they're popular enough to keep doing them, but like, come on, man. <laughs> Trying to save money. Trying to pay off some bills. Like, come on. Cut me some slack, please. But yeah, I'm definitely very excited about this one. Because Pyra and Mithra are very high up there for uh, favorite characters. I don't know how much it's been coming through on video. I'm gonna... I'm gonna wager a guess and say it's a decent amount. But... It's been getting hot, like, like hotter, like we're getting to the end of, of winter, beginning of spring, like that kind of weather. Like obviously it was bound to happen, we're past the, uh, the, the spring equinox or whatever, the first day of spring, but it didn't immediately get hotter, 
and now it's starting to get hotter, and I feel like I'm sweating a lot, <laughs> which is normal for me. It sucks, but I, I do sweat a lot personally. But that sucks, because it means I have to keep my window open, and during the day, there can be a lot of noise, and you could, might say, well, why don't you use your fan? There is a fan on the ceiling. Yes, but the strings are broken, and um, beyond that, uh, one of the blades is missing. So I guess I could, like, try to get, like, a, a standing fan type thing. I don't know. I, I probably have options. It's just annoying to try to figure out. I'm not sure what my plan is there, but we'll see. Either way, it's hot and I feel like I'm getting sweaty again. So I hope that, uh, I could start, like, dealing with that soon. Like, maybe... Maybe we could start using the air conditioning. But, you know... The people who, like, are most susceptible to the cold chose to make their room downstairs when we moved in. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway. It's hot. I'm hoping to, like, have the ability to stop being hot. So today was the eclipse, as I'm sure you heard three trillion times over. Um, because, you know, the entire internet won't shut up about it. But, uh, I was curious, so I got a pair of glasses. Um, they were given out by, um, uh, Jake and Olivia's both in the school system. He's still going to school. She works in a school these days. Uh, so we got a couple of pairs for free from them. So uh, I wasn't able to get like anything on video and we're past the point where it was gonna be at its fullest by us. Uh, but I did manage to get a few pictures and I'll show them now. And I've only ever been like aware of uh two eclipses the one in 2017 and the one now um i don't know what um if there have been any before that i would have been alive for i don't like m memorize eclipse schedules but i did want to um make a note of this because i was fun fact if you haven't been around forever that is a huge fucking bug. Anyway, uh, I was technically vlogging during the, um, 2017 eclipse, but that run of vlogs, like, fell and died. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go inside before these bugs, like, get me. Uh, I was technically vlogging, and it was fun, but I didn't, like, know why I was vlogging yet, why I was doing anything online. Um, so that fell by the wayside, and I just didn't come back to it in earnest until this in 2019. And obviously, it's still going, albeit in a different form. But I did want to, um, like, specifically talk about the eclipse today because I was like, well, damn, I never talked about the one back in 2017 in anything that lingered, so at least I'll have this. And now I have it. <sighs> I wish it wasn't so cloudy, but what can you do? Can't change Mother Nature. Remember the other day I was talking about how it was hot? If you actually listen closely to the background, um, you can hear that we have the air on now. Um, we turned it on because it was exceptionally hot in the house, uh, and when we looked at the, the thermometer, it was pushing 80 degrees. 
so we made the call to start running the air, and hopefully it, um, hopefully it doesn't get too much hotter than that, but, ugh, who knows. But I, I figured it was only a matter of time before we start running it, because, like I said, it's been getting hot. So, definitely worth it to, to keep things running, uh, or start running things, I should say. So, hopefully, hopefully it keeps us cool. We'll see. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this week. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week.